Well, gorgeous weather today. Temperatures in the 60s. A little bit of sunshine out there and still pretty comfortable right now. These are real time numbers you can only find on Watch Fox. On our Skywatch Weatherbug Network, we're in the 50s for Ridgeway, Columbia, Orangeburg, and Irmo. Highs today, like I said, in the 60s and lows this morning in the 40s. A mild pattern that will take us into the start of the work week as we take a look at the bigger picture across the southeast. Columbia Metro 52 to 55 in the Queen City. Hot Atlanta back into the 60s. Remember that snow we had about a week ago? Yeah, not many of us do after today's comfortable readings out there that will take us into the start of the week. But there is another cold front, as you can see, 32 in Memphis, 37 in Huntsville, this blue here that is heading this way. So get ready for some changes in the forecast as far as a temperature roller coaster goes. Rainfall, well, Looks plentiful as you look to the west, but the air here not fully supporting this front staying together. So I'll keep rain chances at about 30 to 50% as we roll through the day on Monday. I do think we'll start the morning with some areas of fog, likely some drizzle out there too. So please plan some time for the morning commute regarding that. As we take a look at Future Watch, we'll take you into early tomorrow morning when you join meteorologist Garrett Biedenbaugh on Good Day Columbia. The front continuing to slowly approach still hasn't pushed through as you notice by lunchtime finally clearing the area by late tomorrow afternoon, but just barely pushing out of the Midlands. I think it'll be sitting right along the I-95 corridor and then as we go towards tomorrow night, the front again not moving that fast, so still sitting right there. Temperatures not really going to drop at a rapid pace. In fact, as we take a closer look at things from 6 a.m. to lunchtime, I do think we'll see uh, the light shower chances picking up. Then look for clouds throughout the afternoon hours, and I still think we'll have clouds hanging around, maybe a little drizzle going into late tomorrow night when you join us for Watch Fox News at 10. As far as the overnight forecast is concerned, down to about 49 with some drizzle, a southerly wind at 5 to 10. And as far as what the kids can expect as they head to school in the morning, temperatures, well, we'll see those numbers going from the 50s, or from the 40s into the 50s, I should say, by 8 o'clock with some drizzle. Sunrise at about 720 in the morning, but not expecting to see that sunshine tomorrow as the kids come home from school. No, this is not uh, because you're tired or had too much fun at the Super Bowl party. These are the actual high temperatures that I'm forecasting. Low 70s. I think it will be a little breezy, though, with the south-southwest wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. 73, the actual high tomorrow, but it drops off by Tuesday. We go into what's called cold air damming or the wedge pattern, so temperatures will not really move a lot on Tuesday. Then we're in the 60s by Wednesday before another front drops us into the 40s on Thursday, back to the 50s and 60s as we head towards the weekend. So this temperature roller coaster up and down we go. Wednesday, though, that 67 is a gift from your Skywatch weather team because it's National Weather Person Day. It's a real day. Don't believe me. Uh, Blue Bell Ice Cream before has recognized that. They bring us cases of ice cream. Mm -hmm. and I think Cases of ice cream. Yes. Cases. They, they brought <laughs> cases for each member of the weather team. In the you mean a no. tub. That's cases. A Wow. Or they give us each of the flavors, and I will not share with anybody that doesn't believe me. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll steal it. It's been done before. It's a TV <laughs> station. You know well, how people are. I think we said last week that we weren't going to give him any gifts. No. No, no, no he no. actually said he was going to go on living his life. That's on that, <laughs> exactly. He made a note for that, too. Exactly. So the weather held up for the big game. It did mm -hmm. for folks that had to do a little barbecue. And I mean, we're, we're all over the place weather-wise right now. I, Definitely allergies, sinuses, too. everything's yeah. been going haywire. But... Uh, New York got a little light rain tonight, or actually New Jersey, mm -hmm. uh, but here at home it was great for those parties, and hopefully you were a Seahawks fan because it was a terrific <laughs> night for you. If you were a Broncos Ooh. fan, not so you good. got trampled. I feel bad for Peyton. You I got really trampled. I, you know, I thought that his style of play and the game plan that they would incorporate would actually stump the Seahawks. I knew they had a great defense, but I, this was just crazy. I thought it would be a closer game, and like Peyton was, th there were records that Peyton mm -hmm. said. I don't want to give it away in case. Uh, Brian's talking about that in sports, mm -hmm. but it's a record that's actually a very positive record, and yeah. you wouldn't know it by the score. I, I kept waiting. <laughs> I kept waiting for the big moment that they would just start yeah. coming back, but it just never happened. No. You're going to keep waiting for the game. <laughs> 364 <laughs> more days for mm -hmm. that. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Anyway, if you're a Seahawks fan, hey, congratulations. Congrats. Yep. And we'll still to come.